Hi, I wanted to share with you a way to bulk slice your digital sticker sheets. So this is a page from my digital sticker template pack. And I wanted to show you this page in particular because it kind of explains uh, the best what I'm talking about. Um, so I created these so that you could just click and fill any of the objects, whether you're filling it with a color or filling it with a pattern, uh, which I show in a different video. Um, there's dark ones with white lines and bubbles for um, darker colors. And then um, for lighter colors, there is um, black lines on a white background. So this, these black ones are for dark fills. These are for lighter fills. Um, and I've grouped them so that you can also change the colors of the lines. So if I wanted to switch this to black, I could click on this group of lines and bubbles and I could um, change the stroke of it to whatever I wanted it to be. So the trick I'm going to show you involves grouping all your stickers. So if you have this sticker pack or if you're creating templates like this to work from, um, you will want to create all your fills first and then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and group everything. So I have the move tool on and I'm just highlighting over this whole sticker and control G, um, I believe it's command G on a Mac or if you want to go to the menu it's layer group and that will group everything together. So now if I click on this and I try and change anything, it's going to affect the entire thing. So now you can't see the lines on it anymore. So that's why it's important to leave things um, ungrouped while you're doing your fills. And then once you're all done, group each individual sticker together. So let me control Z to undo that last action. And let's just do a couple more fills. I'm just going to fill these with solid colors for now um, instead of patterns because I do show that in a different video. Okay, so now I've got these four stickers um, and I have already grouped this one before I started the camera. And let's go ahead and group each of these stickers. So if you watched my other video on creating slices, um, you can see that just kind of loosely dragging over each of these stickers and grouping it is a little bit quicker than creating individual slices on each of your stickers. So once these are all grouped, this is the next step. You are going to go to Export Persona. And then over here, it's going to default to the slice tool, but the next one under it is the slice selection tool, this black arrow. And so now I'm going to go over my entire sticker sheet and you can see that everything that is ungrouped is selecting separately, but my grouped stickers are grouping as a whole. Now I'm going to right click anywhere on the screen and say create slice and all of my slices have been created really nicely closely cropped. I, I think this is absolutely awesome and such a big time saver. And so again, take a look that my lines and my sticker are sliced separately here. So I don't want that. So it really is important to create all your fills first, group every sticker together by itself, as in each sticker is its own group, and then do this little bulk slice tip. Okay, thanks for watching.